Ah oh, no, we return to David Attenborough's Coaster Nature. And here we see, in the roots of the grass, the colorful, vibrant, and yet absolutely terrifying Iron Glossy. He waits for its first victim. But as he waits, we keep thinking to ourselves, when will the Giga Coaster come to its habitat and tackle the Iron Guazi? Nevertheless, he is a mighty species and one of nature's great coaster mysteries. And that was your weekly edition of David Attenborough's Coaster Nature. Now back to Coaster Chal for an update. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadonks the one bot built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park predictions video. Now today we're going to be talking about Bush Gardens Tampa and this is the predictions video, this is a five year plan and we're going to be talking about my predictions for 2021 up to 2025 for Bush Gardens Tampa. Now I want to give a massive shout out to James Newton for suggesting this video but I also want to give a shout out to a guy called Dustin aka Blue Fire Coasters. Now if you'll have seen the Coasters and Toasters podcast that I did with Thrill Central over in America, then you'll then you'll know Dustin from that video, aka Blue Fire Coasters. Now he actually talked to me about his predictions for Bush Gardens Tampa. And I want to give him a shout out because my five year predictions, after thinking about it for the last few weeks, are pretty similar to his. There's a couple of changes here and there, but it's very similar to what he's thinking when I'm sort of you know logistically thinking about it. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to Dustin for his five year predictions. They're pretty similar to this. Um, but I want to give it just a shout out to him, really. So shout out to you if you watched it, if you've seen this video, Blue Fire Coasters, because your predictions were pretty spot on. They were quite similar, nearly similar to mine. Uh, but there's a couple of changes with mine that I'm sort of throwing in there. So uh, and a couple of switch arounds. So uh, that's like the difference in it. But I want to share with you guys my predictions. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in for when we hit. 2,000 subscribers. We are whizzing through 1,600 subscribers now. We're getting close to 1,700 and of course make sure you use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now guys let's get into looking at the last decade of Bush Gardens Tampa just to look inside the past before we look into the future as we do for these prediction videos. So let's have a look at the last 10 years of Bush Gardens Tampa. Starting off with 2010. Now, 2010 was a big year for the family market as the Land of the Dragons area was rethemed into Sesame Street Safari of Fun with brand new and rethemed attractions, including a brand new Ziera Junior coaster called Air Grover. The African themed Broadway show Katonga was closed, but the park also opened a 4D film in the Pantopia Theatre, which was known at the time as the Timbuktu Theatre, uh, called Sesame Street Presents Lights, Camera, Imagination, and also the Walkabout Way opened for the animal exhibits. But in 2011, the old monorail station, which had been closed for many, many years now, was utilised once again. And of course, with the refurbishment and re-theme of Cheetah Chase into Sand Serpent, they introduced Cheetah Hunt, which was an interim launch coaster to the park. They also started the Motor City Groove Show and also opened the Cheetah Run exhibit for the animals. In 2012, the ice show Exploration replaced Katonga in the Moroccan Palace Theatre, uh, and the Animal Care Centre opened as well. The tiger side of Gwazi was also closed, and the train moved to the lion side for future operation at the end of the summer season of 2012. In 2013, they removed a lot of attractions for many different reasons. They closed Sesame Street Presents Lights, Camera, Imagination and Dance to the Music and Pirates 4D, which is the 4D film in the Pantopia Theatre. Pretty much the Pantopia Theatre stuff all closed. Also, the Orbiter Flat Ride Sandstorm, the walkthrough attraction King Tut's Tomb for a future edition and also the opened Madagascar Live Operation Vacation. Now, of course, in 2014, replacing most of those attractions, the Timbuktu Theatre became the Pantopia Theatre, and they also opened a brand new gyro drop tower called Falcon's Fury. 
Now, of course, they repainted their looping Starship Ride Phoenix, and they also closed the Bird Gardens Theatre and Rhino Rally. Critter Castaways was rethemed to opening night Critters, and that show was moved into the Pantopia Theatre. Now, in 2015, the entirety of Guazi was closed permanently, and they also closed Madagascar Live Operation Vacation. However, they also opened two brand new shows, Elmo Rocks and Treasure of the Mirage. And utilising the, the, the King Tut's Tomb attraction for the queue line, they opened a brand new Max Spinning Coaster in 2016 in the Egyptian section of the park called Cobra's Curse, as well as closing the Tanganyika Tidal Wave attraction. Now, in 2017, they closed Ice Exploration and Elmo Rocks, and they also opened Rockadoo Wop, Let's Play Together, and Turn It Up, which replaced the Ice Exploration show. In 2018, they closed Opening Night Critters and Motor City Groove. However, the next two years would be very, very coaster heavy. Because in 2019, on the former site of the Tanganyika Tidal Wave site, they opened the Premier Skyrocket 2 coaster, Tigris, and also opened the Critter in Charge, replacing the opening night Critter show. And in 2020, Gwazi was finally reopened as Iron Gwazi, the RMC Rocky Mountain construction conversion of the original Gwazi coaster with the brand new purple steel track. That is still set to open in 2020. However, there's still rumours at the minute whether that's going to move to 2021. However, I think with the American park starting to open up again, or planning to open up in stages very, very soon, I think they're going to still open my Anguazi with the restrictions and the measures in place in 2020. So I think it'll still be a 2021 attraction, uh, 2020 attraction, not a 2021 attraction. So that is the last 10 years of Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. Now, obviously, a couple of coasters in there, quite a few coasters in there. Tigris, Cheetah Hunt, uh, Iron Gwazi, Air Grover for the kids. Uh, so a good range of coasters in there. Very, very show-based, a flat ride in there. Uh, no dart rides or water rides in there, so I was kind of surprised about that. Uh, or hardly any dart rides or water rides in there at all. So, you know, it would be really nice to see some kind of new water ride or some water ride work. And I'll get onto that in my five-year predictions. But let's get straight into my five-year predictions for Bush Gardens Tampa. And again, I want to shout out James Newton for suggesting this video and I want to shout out Blue Fire Coasters who I did the podcast with with Real Central uh, for his five year plans that he talked to me about privately uh, and I can tell you there's a couple of changes with mine and a couple of switch arounds but apart from that I think it's still a strong five year prediction so if you want to suggest a video comment down below I'll take on all suggestions on board I've got them all written down ready to start processing filming and get them out there in the next few weeks but Let's get into my five-year predictions for Busch Gardens Tampa. So starting off with 2021, and 2021 is a very, very easy one. Now, obviously we know that in 2014, the Rhino Rally attraction would close for good. And we, know, we didn't know what was going to replace it. However, I think we're going to go along with those rumors and those filings and those plans. And in 2021, we're going to see a brand new SNS Screaming Swing. Now, obviously, the rival park in the Busch Gardens chain in Williamsburg, Virginia. They opened a Screaming Swing a couple of years ago with Finnegan's Flyer in the island section of the park. And I think we're going to see that similar attraction come to Tampa. Now, theme-wise, you know, we don't know. Maybe they're going to theme it to the Serengeti Plains. Maybe they're going to do, like, a different animal theme or some kind of... Uh, atmosphere, animal atmosphere theme, like a savannah theme or an Africa theme, or maybe go with the rhino theme to pay homage to Rhino Rally with like a stampede name or something like that. However, I think it will be definitely a screaming swing coming to the park in 2021. Moving into 2022, and this is where my prediction differs from Dustin's, aka Blue Fire Coasters. Now, I believe two things are going to happen in 2022. I think we're going to see a flat ride. Uh, next to Phoenix, replacing the old uh, family attraction as like a tilt -wheel attraction next to Phoenix in this Egypt section. And I'm going to see a new flat ride there. And I'm also going to see a water slide in the in the water park, um, in the Adventure Island water park. Now, the water slide, I put a picture of a post slide mammoth 
uh, water coaster in there, but it could be any kind of pro side. It could be white water. It could be any kind of water side, but I think a mammoth would be a great fit for the uh, water park because it's quite, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit unique. Uh, and it'd be a very good type of water slide, water coaster for the park. With the drive park and the flat ride, I think a Zampella and Devil would be a very good replacement for that little tilt wheel attraction in the Egypt section. And I think they can pay homage to a former attraction and call it Sandstorm. Uh, and I think they could do something really cool with that. Uh, so I think that that could be a good thing to happen. Moving in then to 2023, and this is the same as my mate's prediction, and I'm going to see Scorpion close at the end of 2021, going into 2022, ready for work for 2023. However, I think this, like Tigris was for Iron Gwazi, is going to be a filler year. I think we're going to see an RMC Raptor. Now, it won't be an exact clone of Rollblazer. It will be a custom layout. You can see the uh, site that I put for this, as well as Scorpion outstretchers with the uh, sort of canopy area opposite uh, and I think they're going to replace that I think they're going to rework the pathing around that area of the, of the Egypt area and I think that we are going to see this raptor become this next masterpiece of the Egypt section of the park right near Falcon's Fury uh, and I think an RMC, and a, a custom RMC raptor with two people per train, uh, two people per car per train uh, instead of the one person per car uh, will be a fantastic filler coaster year for the park. But I think the best is yet to come. And I think if Blue Fire Coast is watching this, you'll see what I'm going to predict. Uh, but moving in then to 2024. Now, 2024, I could see a refurbishment of Congo River Rapids. Now, I think they can do some really cool stuff with this. I think they can bring in some new theming, some new sound effects, maybe bring in a full storyline with the ride, maybe a brand new element, maybe retrack it in a section, maybe even give the ride a lift hill and a drop, you know, an elevator lift hill and a drop. That would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe rename it from just the Congo River Rapids to something else, uh, but just give the ride more more of a story and more of a um, more of an identity, more of an identity within the park. And then finally, for 2025, this is the big one. I could see a Giga Coaster. Now, the image I want to give credit to Blue Fire Coasters because he actually uh, drew this up uh, in our little uh, private chat and he sent it over. Um, so I want to give credit to Blue Fire Coasters for this image because uh, he came up with it. Uh, and I wanted to sort of, I did like my yellow outline around the outside just to show you guys the site. Uh, but I think we are going to see a Giga Coaster on this site. And you can see it stretches right behind Congo River Rapids. And it will come like an upside down L shape kind of thing, like a diagonal L. And it will come right past and it goes right round, um, you know, past the kids train. And it's a really long coaster. Uh, so I do believe that it will be around that area. Uh, so it will come from the back and work to the front. Uh, and I think that a Giga Coaster is something the park is missing. Now, of course, Williamsburg are going to be adding a Giga Coaster in 2021 with uh, the codename Dragon Spire, uh, known as Dragon Spiral. Of course, that's the uh, multi-launch, shuttle launch Giga Coaster by Intamin. Uh, going to be on the Dragon Fire site in Oktoberfest at Williamsburg's Park. Uh, so I think that a Giga Coaster at Tampa isn't too far away. And I think by 2025, we'll be in a better position. I know Busch Gardens have been you know, adding coasters like mad these last couple of years. Uh, and I'm sure that's set to continue into 2021, 2022, all these different years. However, I think 2025 will be the main coaster year for Tampa. I think 2023 with the Raptor, I think will be a very filler year. Uh, and 2024, they can use that while they're still constructing the Giga Coaster for 2025 to renovate Congo River Rapids into a brand new identity for the ride, give it a new lease of life. And then 2025, you bang, open this Giga Coaster. And I put a picture of Fury 325 next to it. I was going to put a picture of Orion there instead or along with it. But I think Fury 325 is the one I would personally... Uh, compare this to the most. Uh, I think it will be a custom layout. It won't be a clone uh, any way possible. It will not be a clone. I think it will be a custom layout, uh, Giga Coaster. And I think this will be the massive investment for the decade for Tampa. Like, uh, you know, I'm, Cheetah Hunt's a great investment for the last decade. So is Tigris. So is Air Grover with the whole children's area. All investments are good for different reasons. But I think this past decade, I think the biggest investment of the decade has to go to. Um, 
you know, Iron Guazi. Because, te but if we were looking specifically into it, I know Iron Guazi is this decade technically, so it would be technically the biggest investment, and then the Gig Coast would be on the same level as it. But looking back on the last decade, technically, between 2010 and 2019, technically, if it's not 10 years, it's like including the 2010, but 10 years. Um, I would say that Cheetah Hunt's the big investment, but I think Iron Guazi's topping Cheetah Hunt. But I think Tampa will invent this Giga Coaster for 2025, maybe 2026. We still don't know if it will be 2025 yet or not, but I definitely think that a Giga Coaster is coming to Tampa. It that and Iron Guazi will beat Cheetah Hunt as the biggest investment of the decade, and I think it will beat Iron Guazi as one of the biggest investments in the park's history. Uh, but if the gig coaster happens in 2026, in my opinion, I think that 2025 will be a year of just inventing new shows, refurbishing the park, maybe doing like a, uh, a new plaza or a refurbishment of a plaza area, just to bring the culture and festivity back to the park and keep the festivities high. Uh, so there we go. So that is my prediction. So just to sum it up, uh, for those of you who need a bit of a catch up, uh, a Screaming Swing Flat Ride in 2021 to replace Rhino Rally in 2022. Uh, I'd like to see uh, some form of water slide, water coaster in the Water Park Adventure Island, as well as an Endeavour Flat Ride, uh, Enterprise type Flat Ride in the Egypt section, replacing the little tilt -a wheel ride. In 2023, I want to see a filler coaster like an RMC Custom Raptor uh, to replace Scorpion, which I think will be deconstructed at the end of next season if this happens. In 2024, while they're constructing uh, the Giga Coaster for 2025 or 2026, I think we're going to see in 2024 the re. re Figuration and renovation and the refurbishment of the Congo River Rapids, and for 2025, I could see the Giga Coaster, or if it's that, if that's going to be in 2026, I'd like to also see a Plaza refurbishment um, or some kind of festivities investment uh, into the Tampa Park. So there we go. So it's quite, you know, coaster heavy and ride heavy. Uh, not a lot of shows mentioned. I think throughout those years they will be still investing in animal stuff, uh, st stuff for the shows and entertainment. Uh, but I didn't want to sort of focus on that. I wanted to focus on the actual attractions. Obviously you'll know that there was a, a water ride refurbishment in there. Some kind of water ride work. You didn't see a dart ride in there. I'd like to see a dart ride come to the park. A brand new dart ride. Uh, but I don't think that will be this first five years. You may see it in the next five years afterwards. You may see the next video on this uh, between 2026 and 2030. Uh, and you may see me mention a dark ride in there. But for now, I don't think a new dark ride will come to the park. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this predictions video from Bush Gardens Tampa. Again, massive shout out to Blue Fire Coasters, aka Dustin, for your Giga Coaster photo uh, labeling um, because it allowed me to use that as a basis to bring in the site. Um, I want to also shout out James Newton for suggesting this video. Again, if you've got any video suggestions, comment them down below. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep on the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.